speculation that he was going to face a British rival ended with the announcement. Rabchenko has fought once since 2016 and will hope he be the launchpad for the Sheffield fighters' attempts to become a twa weight world champion. The visitor is ranked number 7 in the WBC and won the European title by stopping Brooks one time Ingle Jim mate Ryan Rhodes. I can't wait to get back in there and it's going to be special returning to the arena, said Brook. The Spence defeat cut deep and it took me some time to come to terms with it but now I'm back with a new challenge at 154 pounds. I believe I will be stronger and better than ever in the division and my focus now is on becoming a twa weight two-time world champion. Rabchenko is a dangerous fight but I want to jump straight back in at world level. Our styles will gel for an electric fight. Rabchenko said, I'm really looking forward to this fight with Kel Brook and it's going to be a war. I have fond memories of Sheffield and I believe the result will be the same. This is a high-profile fight in the division that has always been mine, and the winner will go on and challenge for the world title. It's a must-win fight for both of us, promoter Eddie Hearn added. I'm so pleased to see Kel back in camp and moving up for a fresh start at £154. He refused to vacate the title for Spence but was could never fight at his potential making £147 anymore. This is a tough, tough test, probably tougher than I would have liked but Kel wanted to be straight back in a top level, the Spence loss hurt him badly especially being at Bramall Lane but we're going to get this arena jumping for his return, Kel is one of the top fighters in world boxing and you will see a new animal on March 3rd, read more click here for all the latest news from the fight scene.